Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I'm actually going to get back to work on the MR2 a little bit. Uh, last video I was working on the Cobra and ran into a little bit of a delay waiting on some parts. So I figured while I'm waiting on parts to try and get some stuff done on this. Uh, first thing I need to do is get this front bumper cover pulled off so I can take it back to the body shop uh, so they can fix a few little things on it, repaint it. Uh, you can see some water on it right now. I just opened the garage door and it just rained a little bit ago and unfortunately the door is dripping all over the car. So not real happy about that, but bumper is going to get painted anyway. So uh, that being said, I'm going to get the corners pulled out and uh, start unbolting things, see if I can get this cover off. All right, and here we are. As you can see, cover is off and the front end of the car is looking pretty naked again. Um, did, you know, I, I hadn't taken this cover off, uh, let the shop do it, and I did notice a lot of these under plastics and stuff are pretty cracked and brittle, which is very common on these things. I may look into getting the uh, MR2 Heaven replacements and just start with the two underpans and the two uh, front wheel arches to begin with because these are in, you know, they're, they're pretty cracked and in rough shape. Uh, from what I could tell, it looked like, you know, a couple of the bolt holes, this thing had been zip tied back together just because there was nothing to bolt to. I'm um, guessing, you know, the shop found that, found that when they were taking the cover off. Again, I never, never took the cover off myself, so that was all the shop. So, um, I don't think I'll be able to repair some of these holes. I mean, they're pretty cracked up and whatnot. You know, you can see they're just obliterated, which is, you know, common for these cars and these, you know, thin plastic shields. So, like I said, I may very well order those, uh, the first, you know, the, the front few pieces, uh, the two wheel wells and then the two, uh, two pieces that go in the center just to begin with so uh, but anyway I'm going to contact the shop get them the front cover so they can uh, go ahead and uh, fix some of the damage that was missed and get it resprayed all right so it's been about a week since the last clip you saw um, if you follow my channel you'll have noticed you know I've in the meantime I've uploaded a video of the Cobra finishing the gauge install and then uh, I also uploaded a video of the Gladiator going off-road in which I did this past weekend so uh, now that those are done, I'm going to get back to work on this. Um, so my goal is I need to start going through the engine bay, remove all the stuff that's not needed. You know, there's the cruise actuator and the throttle um, throttle mechanism. There's, you know, some coolant lines, hard lines and whatnot that need to be removed. Things along those lines. So I'm going to start just removing everything that's unnecessary in here. And then I can start uh, cleaning everything up in preparation for the uh, install of the new engine. Um, I also, you know, like I think I previously said, may do some paint work. Uh, you know, some of these areas, it's faded. Like you can see right there, the paint's gone through to the primer. Um, so I'll know better once I go over and wipe everything down because there's still a lot of dust uh, that, you know, got watered down at the body shop when they cleaned it that I need to get out of the way. So uh, I'm going to get to work on cleaning this up. All right, update time. Uh, went ahead, I got the throttle slash cruise control mechanisms out of here. Uh, they're on the ground down there. The cable's still hooked up. I need to get that uh, unhooked from the uh, throttle cable or throttle pedal. Um, I removed the hard line for the master or the, the brake booster, which was routed along here and went to the intake back here. That's gone. Um, coming over here, pulled out the catch bottle for the radiator for now. I uh, got that out of the way so I can clean it up. Um, removed the one radiator hard line that was over here on the firewall uh, that hooked up down to that hose down there, right next to the clutch line, and then came up here and it was what went to the uh, water neck on this side, the, the driver's side of the engine. So I uh, got that out of here. And then you, know, you can see this side is still really dusty, nasty, messy. Haven't touched it yet. I basically stopped right here and you know went with a uh, wipe on the back firewall in the uh, crevices here down in here and cleaned out like the inside of the scoop and whatnot um, I used uh, the tub of towels these right here because they work great not you know not just great for uh, cleaning your hands off they great you know work great for uh, cleaning grease off parts and stuff so you know, from what I'm seeing, you know, like here is the prime example because this is going to be most visible. You know, it's terrible, but, you know, there's all this paint fading here, which is very, very visible. Um, you know, along the sides, this will be covered by the blades, you know, the filler panels. So I'm not that worried about those. But, yeah, definitely along the back here is uh, 
worrying area. The firewall itself isn't too bad. Um, it's got, you know, a few marks on it. It's got some overspray and whatnot from God knows what over the years. And then, uh, down here is where I'm probably most worried because there's definitely a lot of scraping and from, you know, engine swaps over the years, stuff hitting, you know, trying to get intercoolers in and out and whatnot. So I am probably going to have to do some paint work just to clean it up and make it look more presentable. I mean, the engine is out. I might as well do it while the engine's out. Only thing that concerns me is, you know, there, it looks like there's some kind of rubberized undercoating or something in some areas that I may have to use brake cleaner or thinner or mineral spirits, something like that, just to kind of eat through it because the wipes wouldn't take it off. So uh, that's the update at this point. Um, I do kind of wonder if I can use like a Rust-Oleum Safety Red or something like that. It may be a close match to how bright this red paint is. Not sure, because um, I would like to get something a little heavier duty if I could, or if I can find an engine enamel that's close to the paint color where it wouldn't be a noticeable difference. But then again, red is very hard to match. It's you know the slightest little tint and uh, you'll notice it. So I don't know, uh, stuff for me to think about. Enough rambling, I'm gonna get back to cleaning. All right, update time. So here's basically where we're at after going over pretty much everything one time with one of those wipes. Um, Pretty happy with you know how much came off. There's still some grime in some spots that just need a little extra scrubbing with you know something maybe a little stronger. Might put a little uh, brake cleaner or uh, mineral spirits on a rag and uh, just kind of go over those things. Still need to get inside of that duct for the, uh, the side scoop. I don't know like what happened, but down here in this corner right there, there was probably two inches of sand and dirt uh, that I just kind of plucked out of there with a. Uh, uh, breaker bar or uh, a pry bar just trying to you know pick away at it and vacuumed it out so that was pretty nasty um but yeah so i mean here's the driver's side you know wiped everything down uh back firewall you know not looking too bad you know a few dents in it a few scrapes kind of i tried to wipe some out there you can see some build up that i'll have to get with something a little stronger uh, or a little more elbow grease, you know, and then here is the passenger side. And like I said, there's this stuff that's on here in some spots, not sure what it is. I might be able to get that off with, you know, something a little stronger. And then there's some spots down here where paint's missing. Um, these are the spots of most concern that I'm going to have to do something about. Uh, and I still have to, I didn't get this back corner. I, my, I just uh, hadn't gotten to it yet, so. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it's coming decently clean. Um, I did some spray outs of three different paints I had laying around. I got to grab that, take a look at it, see how it looks in comparison to the paint in here, if any of those will work, or if I'm just going to go ahead and get the, uh, the actual paint coat. I just figured if it, I could find something that was really close and these are more like Rust-Oleum or like a brake paint or engine paint. So it's a little stronger than just, you know, you know, exterior uh, body paint. Might be a little bit, you know, more, a little less chip, a little less chip prone uh, in the engine bay. So I was thinking maybe I could use one of those or whatnot. So, uh, but yeah, not too bad. You know, like I said, my biggest concern is up along here because that's very visible. That looks terrible. And you know, it's down to the primer. Um, and then, you know, some of the spots down here along the sides, which will be visible, you know, once the uh, engine's in here, you'll still be able to see some of this and, you know, it's pretty either dirty or, or scraped up and uh, banged up pretty bad. So I'd like to, you know, get those cleaned up. So uh, let's see how those uh, spray outs turned out. All right, here's the three paints I did try. Uh, the one all the way to the right, that's Rust-Oleum Safety Red. This one right here, which is actually probably the closest, is VHT uh, Brake Caliper Red. And this one here is VHT Ford Engine Red. Uh, but yeah, none of those are exact, so it was worth a shot. I figured it wouldn't work out, and it didn't. So I'm going to have to probably, you know, just get a couple of cans made up of uh, this bright paint code, and that way I can go ahead and uh, do the touch-up work in here. So um, yeah, that's where we're at as far as this process goes. Um, I know this is kind of boring as far as just, you know, cleanup work and scrubbing and showing, you know, updates on that. Uh, so I'm going to end this video here. Um, when I pick up on this car, hopefully it'll be you know, in a position where I'm either getting ready to paint it or whatnot as far as the engine bay goes um, or some vital update. So 
Um, I do have a few things I want to do on the Cobra. So the, probably, the next video will probably be on the Cobra. Um, you know, going over a few things I found there and uh, some installs, stuff like that. So, um, yeah, that's where I'm going to leave this one. So uh, if you're interested in following along, like what you see, please hit like, please hit subscribe, please hit the notification bell. Uh, there's going to be a lot more coming along on this car um, as well as the other uh, project cars I have going on. The uh, Cobra sitting right there and then the uh, Gladiator out in the driveway. Uh, thank you for watching and have a great day.